of American history. If he wins this election, our country doesn't have a chance. Okay, a heated face-off between a former president and sitting president. Both sides throwing insults and accusations in the first presidential debate of the 2024 race. Joining us right now is Ryan Chandler. And I want to say, <laughs> before Ryan left yesterday, he said, it is my Super Bowl. So yeah, he was yeah. looking forward to this. Uh, and we're going to do some fact-checking this, this afternoon. Yes, we are. Let's start. Ryan, you ready? Uh, let's, let's do buckle this. Buckle up. Yeah. All right. This, I don't know if it was so much of a Super Bowl as it was... Mm you know, a JV game, but uh, mm -hmm. okay. we got a lot to, uh, lot to unpack. To discuss, yeah. yeah, let's start with the border. Yeah. So former President Trump says that under President Biden's watch, mm -hmm. the, uh, the influx of uh, immigrants has caused to a big spike in crime. True right. or false? What are the stats? Oh, it is true that the, the border has seen a massive influx of illegal immigration under President Biden's watch, but when you try to link this group of millions of people to a rise in crime, uh, that is not true. In fact, we're looking at a 2020 study from the National Academy of Sciences that found considerably lower felony arrest rates for illegal immigrants than legal immigrants or United States citizens. When they come here, they're very much not trying to commit crimes. In fact, many of them have uh, more incentive not to uh, run in with law enforcement. Well, stay on the in radar, fear. yeah. Exactly. And that bears out through statistics, even though we should note the FBI uh, doesn't separate out crimes by immigration status. Mm -hmm. Texas uh, does, but they're actually the only state to do that. But if, if we look at these national studies, there, there's no evidence for the broad claims that Trump makes about illegal immigrants being tied to crime. Okay, let's dig into the claims about abortion, obviously a very mm -hmm. hotly debated issue, and there were claims from, from both sides. Right, so uh, Donald Trump made a very interesting claim. He said, quote, uh, their uh, abortions sometimes are allowed to take the life of a child up until birth or even after birth. Well, certainly not uh, after birth. There's no state in the country that uh, has ever allowed that. Um, and in 2020, less than 1% of abortions were performed after 21 weeks. That's according to the CDC. Usually we see in almost all cases, abortions are performed as a result of uh, serious complications like fetal anomalies or something that we've seen uh, make headlines in Texas and nationwide about uh, serious health concerns for uh, the mother. All right, let's talk now about uh, the economy and yep. unemployment. Mm -hmm. President Biden has said, or did say last night, that when he took office, there was a 15% unemployment rate, right. and that's not right. No, it's not. His timeline is a little off there. When he took office in January of 2021, it was closer to 6%, according to the Bureau uh, of uh, Labor Statistics. Now, unemployment did hit 15% during uh, Trump's term, but that is, of course, tied to the pandemic in March in April of, of 2020, millions of people lost work uh, for, for months on end. Um, uh, but Trump also made the claim after that that uh, we had the greatest economy in the world uh, while he was president. And, and certainly um, inflation was not where it was uh, today when he was president. Um, the, the economy was in good shape. But of course, when you take into account the pandemic and how long it took us to recover from that, um, we did not have a, a great economy, as I just alluded to the, the, the unemployment numbers, but uh, certainly few people around the world did. Um, so it, you always have to kind of put an asterisk when you're talking about uh, 2020 in, in all uh, hmm. context, but especially the economy. Mm -hmm. all right. And for you, Ryan, what were your key takeaways, just shifting gears uh -huh. right now, your key takeaways, especially looking through the lens of a Texas voter? Well, Texas is kind of the center of the political yeah. universe now. I mean, when you look at just the three top issues that we discussed, the border, abortion, and the economy, both of those uh, have Texas at the center. We share more border than any other state. We, we are uh, the first stop for many people crossing the border. Um, and, it, of course, Governor Abbott has made that his central issue, attacking President Biden more than any other over his handling of the border. When you talk about abortion um, and the nationwide cases that have come out of Texas, whether you were talking about Amanda Zorowski or, or Kate Cox, these um, household names in a way that had problems because of Texas' abortion law, that came up as well. And then Texas is the economic powerhouse of the country when we're talking about oil and gas or, or energy and climate change. A lot of these issues uh, come right back here close to home.
Mm -hmm. And finally, this is probably the toughest one to uh, verify, uh, the golf handicaps of the two candidates. Yeah. Were you able to get any info on that? Is it really a six for the president, or what is it? I've been um, <laughs> investigating. I've, I've, I've had calls out. I have not been able to independently confirm okay. those claims. We'll have to get back to you on that. Certainly yeah. the most interesting uh, back and forth of the night, but uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll get a cameraman out to uh, the, the golf courses. You got to work those. Uh, you got to work those caddy uh, sources of yours. <laughs> <laughs> get the real numbers. I have sources everywhere. That's right. All right. We know that. Ryan Chandler, thank again, you. thank you for your Thanks. insight. Appreciate it.